Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It is time once again for Friday night restaurant reviews. And uh, we're not going to be out too long. The air quality is really bad in the area here. But uh, Missy Jen, we're going to go someplace tonight that people are going to find it's astounding when you tell them this very That's interesting right. tidbit. <clears throat> okay, tell them what they're going to find hard to believe tonight. This place we're going to, the Rosie Girl has never been to, never eaten at in her entire life. Ever. Yeah. Tonight I'm going to break my cherry at the Taco Bell. And you guys are going to be along. We're going to get this, we're going to try this thing called this variety pack. Huh? Yes, you will literally good be go. saved by the bell All right, tonight. we're going to do the Dorito one. All those kind of good eats, have that stuff, and hopefully make it a good eating experience. So here we go, guys. Off to the bell. Ding. Dong. Now, I know you guys are so, oh, Rosie, are you kidding? You've never eaten at a Taco Bell. No, I've never even walked into the door. I've never had anybody bring me Taco Bell. But when you explain the rationale to people, then they understand. Number one, Missy Jen and I, and all through my life, I've rarely been a fast food eater. <coughs> I uh, only started going out to restaurants about three years ago for this for doing the reviewing and treating Missy Jen to a nice uh, night out but uh, yeah Taco Bell has never been you know I typically be uh, be a kind of a hamburger person but uh, never really was that interested now having lived out here and eaten a lot of nice Mexican food I will be curious to see uh, how it rates the uh, tacos so what we're going to do is get the variety pack chomp down on that bad boy i think missy jen some of the shells have dorito like cheese dorito shells and some of them Which are regular left, yeah we're gonna make a left here okay there's our dollar tree now one night when it's a little warmer we're gonna do the taco chop challenge and come down this whole street we get an unusual warm spell. We're going to come down and try a lot of different... Uh, yeah, that truck here. Yeah. Top, top notch riding. Yeah, really this nice. uh, El Rays, El Roy's is supposed to be one of the best in California. It's got five, five stars. Five stars. It's unbelievably top good. Riding, so. Best truck, best food truck. Right, so we want to make sure we can do that. We'll tell that yeah, to Taco Truck now. Crawl one night. Okay? Deal? Taco party pack up there. What do you think of that? Right here. Yeah. How's that look? Yeah. Give me something to drink. Perfect. Okay, that'll be a good. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, how many are in that? Six and six. Six and six. That's called the uh, variety taco party pack.
Hello. Can we get a variety taco party pack, please? Okay. Crunchy. That'll be okay. Yeah, then get something to drink too, like a diet pep. Yeah, small, medium. Yeah, do they have offer free refills here? Yeah, you can get a refill. Yeah, so small one, then it'll be fine. What do you want to drink, Jen? Small, small. Yeah, so we're here. here. Okay, you want to hold that? We're going to eat that here. What do you think of your first Taco Bell experience so far? I really thought that the uh, beans is it's like 5.30 at night. I really thought, Janet, it would be like really crowded here. But I guess they do a bigger lunchtime trade than like dinner trade. And like you said, the drive through is probably going nuts. That's probably a big part of the service. But uh, yeah, so far so good. There are like at least eight or nine cars in the drive Yeah, a lot of cars, because a lot of people want to take it home and just eat it at home, and I can understand that. But you know, when we're reviewing for you guys, we want the whole Taco Bell experience. Woo! All right, Jen, I think cleanliness is pretty good. You know, seems to be rather clean in here. I don't see a lot of junk laying all over the floors or anything. Yeah, looks nice. Looks kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice and clean over in the uh, drink area there. Yeah, yeah remember, but this, this Taco Bell has to compete with a lot of Mexican taco trucks and everything here, so. Okay? The drive through is busy. Drive-thru is busy, of course. Okay, so we're waiting on our food. Some of them said burritos on there, I think. Burritos? I don't know, but they said different stuff on there. All kinds of things on here. I'm not sure. No, they all say the same thing, right? They all, no, they're all, but they're all like different. Inside, you got the traditional, might be the way they wrap it. You just have to try. You just have to try. It. Grab and try. Well, I'm going to grab one and try it. Mrs. Jen, you're going to try the same one. Like the, put that there for you. That's like a fire boy, I think. So, you go ahead and give it a whirl. Fiery Dorito Ranch. That's definitely the hot boy there, but not super. 
not overwhelmingly hot. Rather tasty. Definitely rather tasty. Very flavorful. I'm going to trade it off to Missy Young and we're going to get her opinion. Yeah, Alright, here wanted, goes the Missy. I always wanted to try that. Spicy. Yeah. They got these really nice cardboard trays too. Nice. Somebody was really a genius at Taco Bell because Pepsi-Cola owns Frito-Lay who does Doritos. So somebody said, why don't we make Dorito taco shells? That's a winner. That's a winner. That's a winner. I can't believe it's like $20 worth of food here. All right. Absolutely. We're going to try to try one of each. We're not going to go through every single one of them. Very but we'll good. try to find the uh, as they go here. She might have piled them in a certain way. I don't know. But pretty good, Missy Jen? Mm -hmm. All right. Next, we're going to try what I think is just a standard tortilla. I mean, a standard beef taco. Good balance of flavor. Decent amount of meat in here. Great shell holds together. I like that. You know, if you're used to eating tacos, like sometimes they explode. This is really quite tasty. That's a damn winner. The fucking winner right there. I hate the F bomb guys, but I didn't expect this tonight. Alright, only the Missy Jen. Here comes Missy Jen standard. Very well assembled. Nice looking unit, isn't it? Yeah. And it's nice and full. Mm -hmm. The ingredients are fresh. Nice, crispy, crunchy. Very flavorful. The beef filling is very delicious. Wow. I am another impressed. Winner. It's another winner. I am super impressed. I haven't even felt the need to put any sauce or anything on it, Jen. It just tastes good straight up. All right. Well, we've got what we got four down, and we got uh, eight to go here. We got some eating wow, to do. They really Really improved that game. This is That's really nice. nice. Huh? This is really yeah. nice. Good deal.
The other thing I found funny, the whole experience, now hiring, dreams do come true. Woo! Mom, I'm working at Taco Bell. Woo! Congratulations, son. Your dreams have come true. I mean, this is this is a place where value really did intersect. I mean, we had 12 tacos, six and six, two of the Dorito, two of the hot Dorito, and six of the standards uh, to split between us, and they were they were absolutely delicious. They were all packed. The shells were good. The taco shells. I mean, I've eaten much worse Mexican and paid much more money for a much smaller quantity of uh, Mexican. I'm impressed. I got to tell you, cleanliness of the place, the operation, the quality of the food that they put out. I thought that they just did a bagging job. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a nine star because I think for a value experience, it's outstanding this, uh, to have this quality of taco and stuff. So good, 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 good on you, Taco Bell. So what do you think, Missy Jen? So I, <clears throat> last time I've eaten Taco Bell was about eight years ago, and I'm Taco Bell experienced uh, from eating Taco Bell in Oklahoma and in, in Missouri, <clears throat> and comparing that to that back then, this Taco Bell here is really, really awesome. The atmosphere is great, the place is super clean, <clears throat> Nice uh, artwork on the walls um, and the food, very, very fresh. And uh, just overall, like Rosie said, the value that you get for your money. If you think per person, it's like $13 for six tacos per person and a drink, and you get the refill on the drink. You really cannot beat it. And it was so delicious that. I had two handfuls of sauce there, and we didn't even we use didn't any use the sauce. sauce. <clears throat> and Jen, I'm blown away by the, you said the freshness, and I didn't hit on that. I was shocked the how fresh the yeah. uh, I mean, the lettuce is shells. and all that. The shells were nice and crispy, but they didn't explode. Everything, Amazing. just we'll the lettuce. The, and they have now, an, apparently, a new recipe that the beef has some kind of a nice Spice the seasoning in it. It's just so delicious. Uh, I felt like I was almost in heaven. <clears throat> so <laughs> I am giving this also a nine star rating. That's like our highest fan <laughs> because rating. for the va the price value and everything and the cleanliness, it was just a perfect combo. The total package for uh, you get your money's worth here. Yeah, we really and, did. Uh, anyway, guys, we're a little chilly really standing out here. I don't want Missy Jen <laughs> standing out in the smoke much longer. Thanks for being with us on another Friday night restaurant <laughs> reviews. We love having you along. The neighborhood might be sketchy, but darn, the food was tasty. Yeah, so Thanks so much for being along. Here in Santa Rosa. If you're ever in Southwest Santa Rosa, here you are, Taco Bell. 
Make sure you take a minute to hit that thumbs up button. Yeah. We love having you guys along as we begin our fourth year of Friday Night Restaurant Reviews. Woo! And we sure hit it off with the Slavonaki. 